Welcome to another trip down the Bourbon Road with your hosts, Jim and Mike. So grab a glass of your favorite bourbon and kick back. We would like to thank our friends at Premium Bar Products for sponsoring this episode. If you're ready to step up your game at your home bar, check out premiumbarproducts.com to choose from their wide selection of glassware, all of which can be custom engraved with your personal message or logo. And there's no minimum order. So after the episode, head over to premiumbarproducts.com and check out everything they have to offer. Now, let's get on with the show. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Shannon. And I'm Mike Hyatt. And this is The Bourbon Road. And today, Mike, it's another Craft Distillery Monday. Yeah, but we don't have no Craft Distillery today. No, we got a big boy, right? We got one of the Grand Peppies. Well, not only is it a big boy distillery, Grand Peppy Distillery, whatever you want to call it, but it's also a big boy bottle. Yeah, this is the new Russell Reserve 13-year-old. Now, when we say new, it's been out about a month and a half. Yeah, I mean, I've been sitting on this bottle for a minute. Yeah, yeah. But it, it hit shelves or not quite hit shelves, right? <laughs> well, it's hit shelves. You're not going to find it. I, I, you'd be hard-pressed to find it. Maybe if you show up at the distillery super early in the morning or your good friends at your liquor store uh, manager or owner or you just happen up on a bottle. They're very rare. Obviously, it's 13 years old, right? I've had to slap your hand four or five times off this thing. Yeah, yeah. you just like, hey, let's open it now. Let's yeah. just drink it, Mike. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's going to be good because because you know, all these releases from Wild Turkey are, are they're they're great bourbons, and they all differ a little bit. But in this case, you know, this is one of those that the kind of the 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 secondary market got it in their mind before it hit the shelf that this was going to be an impart, important bottle. <laughs> Yeah, and then the guys that are reviewing it, I'd say all of them to a T have said that this is going to be 2021 bourbon of the year. Really? But this it's early in the year. Yeah, it's it's early. There's a lot of releases yet to come. I mean, I get it. It it gets a little bit of fanfare. It's a it's a pretty cool bottle. It's a pretty cool brand. Uh, Thirteen years. Great age. Yeah, and it, it comes from one of the greatest master distillers of all time, Jimmy Russell, right? And his son. It says the legacy continues on the bottle. Yeah. Uh, does that mean we can expect something new from them down the line? Um, they're, you know, I think they – I don't know if people have seen that or not yet, but yeah. I noticed it. Yeah, I, I don't know what to read into that. Uh, but, you know, I do – uh, look forward to tasting what's in that bottle. Absolutely. Now, now, Mike, let's talk a little bit about price here. Now, this is a mid sixties bottle. Sixty eight ninety five is what I got for MSRP is seventy dollars. You probably pay for a little bit more at the distillery for it. I would expect seventy five to eighty at the distillery. It is what it is. It's thirteen year old bourbon. That's a pretty good price. And on the secondary, it's going from anywhere between two and four hundred, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is the standard mash bill from from Wild Turkey, also, right? Um, that mash bill that you like, they call it a high rye. I mean, you don't call it a high rye. Seventy five percent corn, thirteen percent rye, and twelve percent malted barley. Right. Yeah. Well, it's the original high rye bourbon, right? Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of distilleries putting out higher rye contents now. So. Well, let's get straight to those whiskey. Let's do now. it. Let's do it. Man, that's a that's got a turkey nose to it, and there's no doubt about it. Yeah, definitely uh, a waft of uh, toffee. I got some dark fruits on this, like dark pitted cherries. Yeah, I am getting a little bit of cherry on that, Mike. Maybe a little bit of plum. Uh, yeah. I, I, you know, the plum and raisin kind of go together sometimes. Yeah. But definitely a good portion of vanilla in that. And, uh, what about, getting, about a little bit of cocoa? Uh, I'm not, I'm not getting that. I am getting like a honey tea though. I could get the honey tea on that. I'm ready to taste it. Oh, let's do it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that's um, that's full of flavor. 
very much a, a mid palate bourbon. Uh, definitely um, get the caramel, getting a little bit of, oh, actually getting quite a bit of spice out of it. That sweetness rolled in on me, almost like a Hershey chocolate bar mm-hmm. with a cinnamon spice to it. That spice is kicking home now. That Kentucky hug has found its home right there in the center of my chest. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it definitely packs a punch. It's, uh, man, it's just very, very, I'm getting the the deep oak on it, a little bit of smokiness. Um, I'm definitely getting like a, a different kind of spice on it, more like a, I don't know. Get that clove. Yeah. I mean, it's got baking spices all what over. What were those gumdrops you used to get a long time ago that had the crystal sugar on the outside oh, of them? That's some, you get some cinnamon ones there, the orange spice ones. They got all kinds yeah, of them. Uh, yeah, whatever those things were. Spice I can't, gumdrops is what they is are. Is that what they were? Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of getting that. My uh, my in-laws still put those on a candy dish for me. Even though I'm not supposed to have those, um, they know I like them and they still put them out for me. This thing's got 114.8 proof on it. So you're going to expect a little bit of spice from that proof. But the spice I'm getting is not from that. It's not overwhelming. Man, are these guys, They everybody that's reviewed it has said, you know, 2021 bourbon of the year. This is pretty special. I, Man. It's got a very long finish on it, um, very lengthy finish. Now, the finish is a little bit dry, and uh, it is spicy, but it's bold, and it's uh, inviting, and it makes you want to keep sipping on it, but it just keeps hanging around. I mean, it really does have a long finish. I don't think it's drying. I, I still, it's making my mouth water a little bit. Um, I, It's got a long finish on it, definitely. Very complex several layers of complexity on it to me it's not drying at all I, I i love it probably this might be go down as one of my favorite wild turkey expressions right here it's pretty good they've got some great master's keep bottles out there and and it's kind of hard uh, to think of them all at once and whether this one tops any of them you know one of the things about a blended a well blended bourbon is that um, it's not always about barrel proof, right? It's not always about, what is this, 114.8 proof? Yep. I just wonder, a little bit of water, well, how might this open up? You know, how, it might it might just explode with layers. But I th- it's already doing that for me. I mean, it is just layer after layer of goodness. I get some caramel in this, get a little bit of leather. You know, the oak is not so much there for me, though. Yeah. Well, I'm getting it. I'm getting it on the back end quite a bit, actually, for me. And um, when I said drying, I just mean I'm not getting any sweetness in the back. I mean, it's kind of I get a little bit of that sizzle going on, that 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 rye spice and that barrel spice combined back there. I'm still getting that tea, though, kind of a honey tea. I could get that if sometimes I'll pour too much honey in a tea in the middle of the winter. Yeah. And it'll be super sweet. I think this thing is it's this is definitely the sweetest bourbon coming out of wild turkey for me. Yeah. You think so? Oh, it most certainly. It is it, it's like taking the 10 year and just punching it in the throat and saying, get out of my way. Here I come. <laughs> it is uh I love this. Oh, awesome. That's saying a lot for me too. Yeah, well, you're you're starting to really appreciate a little bit more the the rye bourbons. I appreciate them. I respect them. I still would go back to my weeded bourbon all the time, but this has that sweetness of a weeded bourbon where I, you know, I, I dig at it. It's a, uh, maybe that 13 year is a sweet spot right there. Who knows? It could be. It could be. And I mean, the right, right proof point, 114.8. It's not so high to 130 where it blows your socks off. Right. I mean, you drink a hundred and, 28.3 proofer the other day with some friends, right? Um, everybody will have to guess what that is. But it was almost too spicy. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty uh hot. Hot's a good word. It was yeah. Hot bourbon. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in this, just a really? just yeah. a tad. Let it marry up just a little bit. Now, this last sip I just take took, it uh it had a little bit of oak on there. And for anybody that's 
you've turned us off and you had to turn us back on. We are drinking the Russell's Reserve 13 year old Kentucky straight bourbon. Kind of a limited release. Um, limited in the by by the fact that it's limited limited sightings. It's hard to find. Well, it'd be hard to find because it just came out. But is this going to be as popular? Is it going to be out there as much? What's the word I'm looking for? Is it going to be distributed as much as the 10 year old, as the Russell's Reserve single barrels? You know, is this going to go right along with that? Are we going to see this a lot on the shelves or is this going to be very scarce? I got a feeling that this will be a hundred bottle. Yeah, I think so. And, and you know, at that price, think about it, guys. Barrel proof wild turkey whiskey, traditional bash bill from wild turkey, 13 years old, $69. Yeah, that's blowing the socks off of uh, a lot of people out there that are sourcing their bourbon and putting it in bottles and charging $200 for it for the same age bourbon. Yeah, and the, and the great thing about this is, is, guys, let's just face it. We all know how many barrels wild turkey has. Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of barrels. I'm not going to say they're all 13 years old, but their aging stocks are up there. Oh, yeah. So, might be surprised how many bottles they could put out. Well, Jim, I think another great bourbon. This is definitely a buy for me. I mean, I obviously bought this sucker. Um, I got a text from a friend, Mm -hmm. a big friend. Um, shout out to your brother. Uh, I know you're listening. Said, Hey, I got a bottle for you. So I got to say cheers to him, um, for thinking about me whenever he got this bottle in. So I really appreciate it. So it was a buy for me all day long. It's worth the money. Is it the bourbon of the year? Remains to be seen. Yeah. I'm, I'm a wild turkey nut. You know that I love wild turkey. Um, so I'm pretty excited to be able to try this. I will say this. It's very, very good. I mean, it's 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 a great bourbon. Is it the best wild turkey expression I've had in the past three or four months? Probably not. Um, I've had some pretty good stuff, Mike. You you have a few of those bottles yourself. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to name any out, out there. I'm just going to say that, uh, you know, this is a great bourbon. There's a little bit of fanfare and hoopla around it. Probably a little more than it deserves, but it's a great bourbon. But I'll tell you this right now, it doesn't take water well. So it got kind of bitter on me. Well, I'm glad I didn't put water to it. I put a little water in it to try and see if you know what would happen. And I let it sit for a few minutes and uh, the sweetness kind of dissipated. And it's kind of a little more bitter now. And uh, it could have been the amount of water I put in it. You know, I did a, f- a few drops, but um, yeah, it's, it's probably better the way the, the master distiller Put it in the bottle. Man, we've said that before, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, Jim, where can people find us on social media? All right. Well, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, uh, all the social medias. Um, you can find us under the name at The Bourbon Road. We've also got a website, right, Mike? Yeah, thebourbonroad.com. You can find our articles. You can find our reviews on there. You can find our swag on there. You can reach us on there. You can leave us comments on there about what you want to see in the show. Um, a great website. You want to check that out. We have our good buddy, Adam Boothby, helping us with those reviews. You'll see his, some of his reviews in there. Some of my reviews, me and Jim's reviews, check those reviews out. Let us know. Um, go on there and shop, buy our gear. That's how we fund this podcast. That's how we get on down the Bourbon Road and open those doors. While you're doing that, you might as well hit subscribe right now, right? That way they get to hear a little bell ding every time we put out an episode. Yeah. Um, And then you want to scroll on down. You want to hit that five-star review because you'll know what will happen. I'll show up with my alter ego, the big bad booty daddy of bourbon. Uh, I'll bring a bottle with us. It will be a long night. Jim, we had one of those nights last night. We had a long (laughs) night last night. We, uh, We threw some axes. We did. Drank some beer and threw some axes. Yeah, we just, we had a good time yesterday. It was a long day. Yeah, it was a long day. And they finished it up listening to Dustin Collins. Yeah, our good buddy Dustin Collins. He's playing downtown Shelbyville, uh, lighting up the street, drank some beer, some whiskey at our favorite 
water and hole, the barrel room. If you're coming on a bourbon trail, you need a water and hole to, to go to. Come there. There's some great Airbnbs here in Shelbyville. Bullets right down the road. We did that the other night. It's yeah. been a bourbon weekend. It has been. It has been a bourbon weekend. And we're, here we are yet again recording, drinking a fantastic bourbon, the Russell's 13-year. If you can get your hands on it, my recommendation is – don't hesitate because oh, yeah. it's 69 bucks for a bottle, 70 bucks for a bottle. Uh, that's a big win. If you put that on your bar. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, if you really want to find out what's happening with the Bourbon Road podcast, you also want to join our Facebook group, the Bourbon Roadies. You got to answer three questions to get in there. Are you 21? Do you like bourbon? Damn, Jim, do you like bourbon? I love bourbon. And do you agree to play nice? Because we don't tolerate any rudeness. Um, Come in there, celebrate life, celebrate retirements, uh, birthdays, celebrate somebody's life when they pass away by raising a glass to them and saying cheers. Uh, we want to see you in there. Come and join us. We're in there all the time. Do some great giveaways in there. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. Well, we do two shows a week. We do a short episode like today's episode where we review a single bourbon, usually a craft distillery, but like today, you know, it's a wild turkey product. Uh, we'll do that review on Mondays. It's called Craft Distillery Monday. On Wednesdays, we'll do a deeper dive episode we'll have guests on sometimes we do more than one bottle we'll go into a little bit more detail explore a subject uh, exhaustively for an hour and uh, you can hear both those episodes every week especially if you subscribe you won't miss one and uh, we also want to know if you got an idea for a show if you're from small town usa you got a local distillery that's killing it you want us to know about it let us know We'd love to shine a light on them, let the world hear about them, taste their whiskey. We'll get out. We'll get in touch with them. You just tell us who they are. So you can find me at One Big Chief on Instagram. I'm Jay Shannon 63. And we'll see you on down the bourbon road. So you know, you can't drink whiskey without glassware. And Mike and I are extremely pleased to have a sponsor like Premium Bar Products. Premium Bar Products offers direct-to-consumer the finest whiskey glasses, cocktail glasses, and bar tools with your own personal engraving. I mean, you can write anything you want on these glasses, anything from a company logo to a personal statement, and there are no minimum orders. Their direct-consumer platform offers you the opportunity to purchase small quantities of your favorite glass shapes that enhance the pleasure of enjoyment and drinking of whiskey and make it all very positive. They offer the absolute finest trending and handmade glasses as well as a comprehensive range of styles and all of their items have been designed with purpose, practicality, and longevity in mind. So if you're a bourbon or whiskey group and you need custom logos, you need to reach out to Premium Bar Products. If you're an individual, you just want a few for your bar, to impress your friends, to give out as gifts, you need to call Premium Bar Products. They need to be your one and only source for custom glassware. I can tell you right now, the Bourbon Road, that's who we use. Janie and Carson and the team there at Premium Bar Products will take care of you. They'll treat you like family and they'll take care of you with every order.